Welcome to Knockbro Nation. Welcome back, guys. Jarrell here. And I'm Josh. And today we have a Fear the Walking Dead Season 7 premiere discussion. Yes. News. News. The Season 7 preview. Man, what a way they ended Season 6. Uh, an amazing season. Um, make sure you go back and watch our reactions if you haven't already. But they have changed things in the world of The Walking Dead. Um, once again, Fear the Walking Dead is about eight and a half years behind where the current season of The Walking Dead is. So a lot of people were wondering, you know, are they going to do a massive time skip because of these bombs that have dropped? You know, are they going to maybe wait for people to... I mean, not all of our people are underground. I mean, you know, Morgan and Grace are not underground. But are they going to do a time skip? I think I, they do. I see them doing it. I don't think they're going to go that that big because if you haven't already heard... The showrunners do not plan on stopping at season seven. Now they haven't conf they have not confirmed season eight is a go, but as of right now, they plan on going more after this season. Yeah, but I could totally so. see them doing a time skip and them getting out of Texas, going somewhere else. Yeah, yeah for sure, for sure. Yeah. So, guys, uh, the showrunners preview a nuclear apoc zombie apocalypse, and uh, the showrunners have said we have effectively blown up this area of Texas. Of course. It's going to be a completely <laughs> new reality for our characters to reckon with. We've seen some of them grow formidable and able with how they've navigated the apocalypse for these six seasons, and now it's a whole new game. Um, one thing that uh, I've always found fascinating is just all this, like, you know, what's going to happen with this radiation stuff? You know what I mean? Yeah. Because we don't know how much stuff is being released. You know, Grace is probably freaking the hell out, but she's already full of radiation. So well, she's like, you know, it. Um, what's his name? Uh, Morgan did have that device on his side. Yeah, we so didn't, we didn't hear it, it really go off. We didn't hear it go off, and and maybe, and maybe they just brush over that. <laughs> maybe it takes time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You want me to go on? <laughs> yeah. In yep. season seven, premiering later this year on AMC, the survivors are going to have to deal with the devastation, nuclear fallout, ash unbreathable air, <laughs> destroyed structures, limited resources, and all these new environmental factors that are going to make survival just exponentially more difficult for them, Goldberg teased. Uh, this new world is going to bring out very difficult sides to all of these characters because they are in a whole new reality and a very scary one. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I can't imagine walkers being around. If they, Well, if they are, they're just going to be just like we saw that one right at the end. He's just smoking. Pieces. Like, just pieces. But yeah. uh, they did release a, a cool little teaser showing kind of like a zombie, like nuclear apocalypse, kind of getting everybody pumped for it. So yeah. it's going to be I'm sweet. sorry. Five, six-year-old walkers already before the blast? Yeah. <laughs> and then a nuclear blast happens? It's probably going to wipe out all of them. Yeah, for sure. Uh, they also have said that they are planning on doing the... Um, the same kind of format that they did with season six, you know, the little character stories that we kind of got. Yeah. Um, so I'm, I'm down with that. I love that format. Yeah, it was they a did. really nice format. The season was done very well. Yeah, for sure. Um, another new aspect of this preview is Daryl and Sherry's new dynamic. So um, they say that uh, what we see in the finale is that they've found some common ground of who they can be going forward as a couple. Um, I think that we see with the way that they dispense of Teddy's uh, acolytes that, at the cellar, Sherry even called out to Dwight saying, you know, I haven't seen that part of you in a long time. I think we're going to see them in a way to uh, exercise their demons and be productive. But it says that um, I think the simplest way is we see a bit of a Bonnie and Clyde dynamic between Dwight and Sherry going forward in season seven and really badass couple doing what they do best. That That's cool. freaking awesome. That sounds cool. And they're like the perfect couple to do this. Now, they who, are. who else would have been an awesome Bonnie and Clyde type situation? Well, it would have been John and June. Exactly. <laughs> they um, screwed that up. But yeah, yeah. Um, I'm, I'm very excited. I hope that the, you know, the actress, uh, well, they've already kind of confirmed the actress is going to be back for season seven to play Sherry. So I'm really glad that they brought her in because, you know, Sherry didn't really have much in the show um, and the comic books. She had a bit, not great, but she was pretty crazy and she badass. She was in the completely comics. different. Yeah, oh, she was very different yeah. in the comic books. My God, <laughs> but uh, I, I'm I'm really glad that they're 
planning on doing this with uh, Dwight and Sherry. So, it's really all right, sweet. you ready for the next? Oh, the next one's huge. You guys ready? Next one's huge. <laughs> all right, uh, the next title or the next category is CRM's role in season seven. Mm-hmm. Boom! Right there, we know we're getting CRM. Mm-hmm. All right, so uh, we will likely see Isabel next season. Right off the bat. Uh, I think for me and Ian Goldberg, the showrunner, uh, one thing we're very interested in is exploring Al's relationship with Isabel and exactly what it means to Al and to Isabel. Showrunner Andrew Campbellis revealed on The Talking Dead. I think the other interesting thing is just seeing how someone like Isabel and perhaps the CRM would react to half of Texas being blown off the map. (laughs) <laughs> That's exactly right. Because I think yeah. I said that afterwards. I'm like, you got to mm-hmm. know or think that CRM s- witnessed that happen. Yeah, for sure. And that's insane. Yeah, definitely, guys. So, Because what do you think CRM... Sorry, I didn't mean to... No, no, you're good. What do you think CRM's reaction is going to be? Well, and, and, and that's the thing, though. And uh, we won't dive too deep into it because we do have another video coming later on. But it depends on if they know about it. Because we don't know you how many... It. Well, I mean... Depends on like how many of their where their agents are right now because mm-hmm. Isabel has been designated in the Texas area. She was basically one of the only ones there that, that we know of. I mean, Texas is a huge state, but in the area that our group is in, um, yeah. I mean, I would imagine you'd be able to see it from a couple other states over. You would see something. How many helicopters but, did that blast get? That's what I want to know. I mean, yeah. EMP would have right. taken some out probably, and, and, and yeah. then you're told. You've lost, uh, you know, uh, pilots. Uh, So, yeah, I mean, would CRM be scared? Like, hey, is there another force out there that is nuclear powered and and not us? Yeah, they could be scared. They could definitely be scared. Um, Not too much left with it, guys. I mean, mostly they're just basically saying, you know, our group's going to have to deal with devastation, nuclear fallout. We've actually already read that. But uh, um, where are we at? Uh, Yes. You are right here. Yeah. I'm just kind of uh, a lot of this was just taken off of the article so uh it's kind of changing the world fundamentally and it's definitely going to send shockwaves beyond texas and the characters on the show so maybe because they it's are a pretty big texas. deal when a bunch of warheads go off so yeah. i mean it's it's a huge deal uh, and uh my guess is they catch up with the walking dead they do a time skip to catch up with the walking dead that maybe flushes out some of the major radiation well mm-hmm. at least on the outskirts i would i don't know yeah um but yeah it's a I, lot of years like that's eight years like eight and a half years that's a long that's a big time skip i I mean, they've done six, you yeah. know, with The Walking Dead, but I mean, that's a huge time skip. Or maybe fear. they just do. I'd say a couple like years, four or five. I'd say a couple years. Yeah. yeah, I still think if they're planning on still going strong with fear um, after season seven, I think maybe four or five years would be good. Still keep it behind The Walking Dead. Um, but yeah, stay tuned. We have uh, another cool video talking about CRM in, in season seven. Just how big. You know, they're, what is their role going to be? Because you have yeah. to think they're they're eight and a half years behind The Walking Dead. Take two years off of that behind, you know, where World Beyond is. So they're still, as we know, CRM is still kind of, they're still big and, you know, massive, but they're still kind of in their early stages, but they're still doing what they want to do. Yeah. So, I mean, season seven, super hyped. Um, we're not sure if we're going to get much um next week uh, we did hear uh, we forgot to mention in our walking dead video that they are planning on possibly revealing a trailer for the walking dead season 11 oh next man week. not sure if we're gonna get a trailer for season seven but uh maybe some more news on season seven would be pretty cool um pictures cast announcements yeah. uh i mean this this no is idea. usually the time right usually, i mean no, it's, san diego it's comic con yeah yeah so let us know what you think in the comments. How excited are you for Fear Season 7? Stay tuned for some other videos. We're going to be talking on theories and wild things that we can come up with on this new season. So, guys, once again, smash the like button, subscribe if you're new. Stay tuned. I'm Jarrell. I'm Josh. We're Nation. We're out. We're out.